Hello, composers. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Scene. Before we start this episode, I wonder if you've ever encountered this situation where you'd rather manually play a harp gliss instead of using a gliss patch. Maybe just because you want a specific scale that doesn't have a pre-recorded sample, or you want certain note to be on certain beat. In this case, we often have to delete some notes that clash with other parts. And here comes the question: How does a real harpist deal with this situation? Or shall we say, how do we indicate a harpist to delete certain notes in the gliss? Let's find out. So, what kind of pedal notation you? Them at certain checkpoints, so like maybe every letter. But、oh. what a lot of people do is that they、mm -hmm. they show me a pedal here, and、mm -hmm. then maybe they show me a pedal over here. Okay. But they don't tell me how to get to the next pedal, so that means that I have to check every single one of my pedals to、uh, see if it fits. So the I notation、see. that I prefer be more. It is much more preferred because it tells me exactly what I need to do and how to get there. Okay, you don't have to process it like. Right. Okay. But it is traditional to have one of the pedal charts at the very beginning. I see. But other than that, that's the way I would prefer the pedals, and I think most harpists would. This is would be efficient. Yeah.、Uh, so would you mind taking a look if this is doable? Because it's kind of like a a model interchange thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Within a piece, is that? Is this changing every pedal? I have to change to a D natural, C natural. So yeah,、uh, in in this bar, the G comes back because because here we have a G sharp. Yeah. Here we have a G sharp too.、Okay. And here it's back. You have eight bars yeah. here. Yeah. I you think you should probably write it here. Ah.、Uh, Because I will do that during the rest. The that makes sense. So I have to change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Seven pedals. Yes. Okay. So I guess what you would have to do is figure out where you can put the pedal beforehand. So the D. Let's see.、Mm -hmm. I'm playing a D natural here already. That's right. So I would notate the D natural before I need it. Maybe even here. Oh, I already have it. Okay. C needs to be natural here and here,、mm -hmm. but starting in this bar,、mm -hmm. we're not playing a C anymore. So I can put the C sharp here. I see. Beforehand. So in a poorly notated thing like this, you have to read it and then rewrite it yourself,、yes. kind of just translate it. I'll see if I can take maybe three or four of these and do them sometime before this point. So that I'll only have to do a few of these, because I can do two pedals at once. You I, can do、I、two pedals. I can't do any more than that. Okay, so you can change two of them at once. It depends. So、okay. I can change. Can, can I? One pedal with my left foot. Yes. One with my right foot. Right.、So、oh. If you want me to do a B and an E at the same time, I can. Ah.、Uh, if you want me to do a B and a C, I can't、right. do that at the same time. Okay.、But、I can do one left plus one right, no problem. Ah.、Uh, so、you can or cannot? I can. You can do can one do left. I can do two feet at one time. Okay. But I can't do my left foot twice. Ah.、Uh, unless it's very fast. Oh. Okay. So only one at a time. You can't just press two of them. No. There is an old technique that harpists used to do. Oh. But it's very dangerous. See,、so、I can't do it. Right. So. Oh. It, it has a lock. See, you can't really do that. Harpists used to do this, but、okay. traditionally, no. Oh, there's a lock down there.、Yes. You have to. So they're spring loaded.、So、yes. You hit them. Yeah. It springs back up. Oh, this is helpful. This is helpful. Yeah, because I don't know. I'm a pianist, and、yeah. I just assume that it feels like,、mm. you know, it's it's. We make stupid assumptions, no, and a mistake、not. that we commonly make is we assume that it's. Because it looks like piano looks score, like piano. and it's very easy to write like、yeah. it is for piano. But I don't think it makes 
sense <laughs> to to write like piano, right? There are a few differences. I mean, these arpeggios. So uh, let's say, for example, if you have to do a whole bunch of glitz. Yeah. And um, is it possible to do a pentatonic one? So yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and how does that pentatonic. work? Pentatonic. So you want. So it, the pedal has to be set up. Right. So let's say maybe just all the black keys, D flat, E flat. Okay, so D flat. D flat, E flat. So we'll do C sharp yes. and D flat. C sharp. Oh! So we can do D C flat twice. Right, there's no two D flat. So one C sharp. D flat. Right, C sharp and D flat. And then do you want B flat? Or sorry, we'll go up scale. Yeah, yeah, so uh, G sharp. Okay, I can do G sharp. An A sharp. And A sharp. G sharp, A sharp, and then that's B flat. B flat. Oh no no, B flat is A sharp. <laughs> yeah. So F sharp, G sharp. A <laughs> I don't know. I think what I'm talking about? Yeah. Let's oh, say no. if we're only gonna play uh, concert C, C D E okay. G A. Yeah. That's a pentatonic. Let's keep it simple. Okay, yeah. So you need to get rid of F and B. Yeah, how do you get rid of F and you B? You can't do that if they're natural. The only thing you can do is use enharmonic equivalents. So a flat can equal a sharp. Oh, okay. So I can do F sharp and G flat. Uh huh. I can do G sharp equals A flat. Right. I can do E sharp equals F natural. I see. So you can't take no, so many, but right. some of them you can't. So you can't take the notes out, but you can you use can't make them, them in, in harmonics. You can turn uh, them into C someone sharp else. Into okay. You have so many options though. You have C sharp, D flat, C flat, B natural. Right. B sharp, C natural. I see. Like all the way up the scale, you can. Right. Okay, that you makes can't sense. Get rid of a note if you're going to pass through them all. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. I Thank think you. This one is similar. Is that pentatonic? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, wow, okay. So, how you get there is A, sh A sharp, G flat. Yeah. So, same thing. Right. F sharp, E flat. So, ah. B flat, C sharp, D flat. So, they're all paired. So you double the notes to make it pentatonic. This I see. A, I see this pedal pattern quite a lot in harp. Uh, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's how you get there. And I you see. And you can do it in a different key if you think about the enharmonics. Right. Um, in any case, that you have to translate it in an yes. enharmonic way. That happens all the time. Yeah. And sometimes... And is that annoying? No. Sometimes when a composer asks for me to play something, I yeah. will play something else. Uh huh. I'll play a different string and an enharmonic because it fits better under my hands. So oh. I'll figure it out on my own time. You'll figure it out on your own. Yeah. Thank you so annoying. much. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is it about harp today. By the way, harp usually belongs to the percussion section in an orchestra. I'm sure you've seen some libraries organized that way. Now, can you think like a harpist? Then tell me how you would get rid of F and B in a C pentatonic scale. Or maybe a more challenging one, how would you interpret C sharp pentatonic scale within harmonics? Type your answers below. I'll see you in the next episode.